I'm a bear made of tin blade. And I love taking pictures. Who's that girl playing music? She's so pretty. Wow, metal robots! A dancing dragon! So cool! Well, that was not a hit cartoon movie. All the characters in the film that we saw was actually toys made of tin, like the ones on display here in Shanghai's Tin Play Toy Museum. Well, those toys were very popular decades ago, especially among people who were born in the 70s and 80s. Well, I wasn't born anywhere near that area of time. I'm not an expert in playing those toys. So, I've invited Johnson Hi, Yi Hey there, to join me. So, Johnson, are you ready for some fun? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. Toys made of tin was first introduced to China back in the 1920s. Kangyuan, the can-making company, was the first one to produce those kind of toys using the leftover pieces from the tin. The most popular games at that time during that period was wind-up toys, like this one. So, Johnson, how do we play it? I don't really know how to play well, it. All you have to do is yeah. wind it up. Wind it up, right. And then you pull out the key yep. and place it on the floor. Uh -huh. And there you go. Oh. It hops. See? <laughs> Back in our days, if someone in your neighborhood has that, yeah. everyone in the neighborhood would be gathering there right looking at this thing <laughs> and, and admiring this guy who has that. Right. Another yeah. thing that would be very popular and very common to see would be this one. Okay. You see? Oh, wow. It turns on its own and takes pictures. And takes pictures. Yes, exactly. And I think it's pretty high tech for the technology back then. It's not only wind up, it's also like having a little electricity here. Yes, and you know, those days, um, you don't expect those things in your neighborhood. You know, right. any kids wouldn't, you know, be able to afford those things. Yeah. You only see it in the kindergarten. Teachers wouldn't let, let you play it, though. Yeah. Uh, because they it's will precious. Put it on this, yeah, it's very right. precious. Still, watching it makes you feel lucky, and you can brag about it in front of <laughs> other kids. Hey, I played this before. <laughs> yes, today I saw right. a teacher playing this, and our kindergarten has one. Do yours have one? <laughs> you know, things like this, right. you okay. know, would be a you know, conversation. There you go. <laughs> See? It's what crazy. is it? <laughs> it's, it's a one-of-a-kind dragon. It's actually a very unique model that this museum have. You can still see the tape on it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Very expensive, I suppose, now. I bet, I bet. <laughs> Any of those pieces would be worth like thousands of RMB, or yeah. you know, if not tens of thousands of RMB. So it's for collection now. It's not for play. It's for anymore. collectors, yes. Right. And I'm super interested in what this hen is going to do. This is yeah. one of the, well, I would say one of the more popular toys. It's actually electrified. You switch it on, and you hear the chicken go like this. Oh and my you God, see a so neg birth. coming out of there. Right. And it keeps on going. It's got three eggs in total. But Fun. I bet this kind of toy is not really popular with boys, right? No. Right. Not with me. Now, I would love to play with toys that's related to, you know, weapons. Okay. We used to have, like, uh, you know, tin, tin plate uh, machine guns. Wow. That How goes like, that? ta 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 And also, you know, these cars actually, you know, brings back my memories. Oh. I used to take them apart. So Johnson, it's all so fun. Thank you so much for Thank showing you. this to my me. Arm. I um, but I don't know why. Like we don't play it anymore in my generation. We don't see it anymore. Why? To my knowledge, um, I think one of the biggest reasons was uh, the tin toys material is very sharp because it's made of very thin tin plates. Uh, it cuts um, kids' fingers Stand. or hands. Other reason might be you know plastic toys are easier to make. These probably you know cost more to make. And I was told that um, you know Transformer back in the 80s took the whole market. 
It was. was. It was a huge blow on the market. Everybody was so in love with the Transformers. Everywhere you go on the streets, you see uh, little stands with uh, Transformer toys in the boxes piled up. And everyone is talking about Transformers. So when you see the Transformer, you just forget everything about Tin Toys, right? Exactly, exactly. You know, Tin Toys were, were long forgotten. And compared to Transformers, uh, tin toys were just like obsolete and outdated yeah. in those days. Like, you know, pretty much like uh, what's described in Toy Story. You know, when right. you grow up and fell in love with new toys, yeah. these old toys were forgotten. Yeah.